Hi, my name is Daniel Barker. I'm an instructor at Utah Helicopter, and I would like to welcome you to the Utah Helicopter Vlog of the Month. Today, we're going to talk about Coriolis Force. Coriolis Force is the force that deflects objects that are flying over the surface to, of the Earth to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left if they're flying over in the southern hemisphere. Make sense? Yes? All right, cool. All right, the basic theory is as things warm up at the center here, because this is the closest point to the Earth, right? So how is the point of the Earth? It would naturally want to warm up and it will circulate, okay? Cooling and coming back down, okay? Problem is, is that's on a stationary object. We are not on a stationary object. We are on a moving Earth, right? It's rotating? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, um, due to the ro rotation of the Earth, the Coriolis force makes a cell pattern. Um, there is three distinct cells, um, the polar, the feral, and the Hadley. And the polar rotates down at the poles and flows down towards the equator, and then as it warms up, it rises and comes back. At the equator, we know this is the warmest point. This is the Hadley cell, and it heats at the center, heating the air, coming and cooling, and then coming back down in this motion. Because of the rotation of these two, two cells rotating in the same direction, it causes another cell called the feral, feral cell. The feral cell rotates in the opposite direction because of the way these rotate, causing it to rotate in a circular motion.